Why are you acting like a child? She's a child. He's fine. He's fine. I'm not asking again. We'll wait. What are you waiting? You keep looking at me. Do you want it? No, I'm just tired of you looking at me. Face the Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In the summer of 2021, near midnight, officers of the Spokane Police Department were called to a local bar regarding an alleged assault. The context of the officer's comment is unclear, but he appears to look directly at his partner's body cam immediately after the unprofessional utterance, to which his partner replies, Why we can't have nice shit? I didn't turn it on yet. I have to. Multiple officers meander into the parking lot across the street and hang out with the crowds, some of which use the lot as their personal scooter track. Some patrons use the area to simply hang out, while others try to calm down inebriated friends before taking them home. No, not that much! Y'all are not the f***ing I respect you guys! I told you guys before I even walked into the car! I respect you guys! 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 I'm the call. The bar eventually closes and the scene settles down, and as the lot empties, an officer begins to speak to a man in his vehicle. Shortly after, a woman named Erica arrives, filming with her cell phone. <laughs> Despite several others present in the lot, and the crowds the officers had been hanging out with for several hours, they now appear to target Erica. She claims that it was the simple fact that she was filming. The arrest report claims that she encroached on an investigation after being told by multiple officers that she was trespassing and that she needed to leave the parking lot. But in the videos they released, it is unclear whether she was ever told to leave. Similar to what the McCracken Sheriff's Office claims to have in the recent arrest of Travis Hines, the Spokane Police claims in their report that the parking lot staff have an agreement with the department, allowing officers to trespass individuals on the property owner's behalf. Would you like Jacqueline to have your possessions? Yeah, I'd love that. Okay, what else do you have on you that you'd like her to have? In your in your backpack, you have stuff in your back pockets. What would you want? Like? Well, you're good. You're good? So, okay, do you want her to have your phone or do you want to keep it? I would love to keep it. Okay, she wants to keep it. Okay, good. No, it's, it'll be right here in your It's all going to go no, in your no, pocket. No, no. It's not in my possession if you're holding it. Well, it's in my possession right now because you're in custody. Am I keeping it or? Yeah, it'll go yeah. with you. Absolutely. Thank you. If I'm keeping it, I would like it in my hands. Well, it's going to be in my hands. So we just... That's not keeping it. Well, Can I have it in my hands? No, you no. cannot. A moment later, a female officer arrives to search and transport Erica. Oh. There's our transport Why are you acting like a child? She's a child. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, you know, I 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 Okay, let's do the search. Anything on you? Hey, I'll 
do uh, the other thing. Hey, Erica. Hey, you're going to steal the back of my hand. Erica was taken to the Spokane County Jail and booked on criminal trespassing in the second degree, a charge that could have been a simple sight and release. She alleges that the jailers brought up her foster children multiple times throughout the interaction, though they had nothing to do with the incident. After a few hours in jail, she was brought up for release but noticed items missing from her property bag. When she refused to sign a release for the missing items, she claims that she was jerked backwards by the jailers and held for longer. After her release, the charge was dropped for a lack of evidence. She then hired an attorney and sued the city and county for violating her First Amendment rights, false imprisonment, and excessive use of force. Both the city and the county decided to settle for a combined $57,000, but of course, neither admits any wrongdoing for the incident and instead punished the taxpayers. Erica insisted that she was arrested for filming the officers, but the department's public information officer, Corporal Nick Briggs, says that the assertion that police don't like to be filmed isn't logical because they were body cams. However, this incident is from 2021. I requested the footage in November of 2023, but I was only issued two short videos in February of 2024, one of which had nothing to do with Erica's arrest. Despite there being half a dozen body cams rolling, only one perspective was released, and it just so happens to be from the one officer that was far enough away to require subtitles for the dialogue, which is exactly why you should have a dash cam rolling at all times, and it's why you should record every interaction you have with state officials. Your footage is free will not be redacted, lost, or delayed, and that means it's immediately available. But I'm still curious what you think. Did Erica's arrest seem reasonable? Did it appear clear that the officers issued a trespass warning prior to arresting her? Is the assertion that police don't like to be filmed by cameras that they don't control illogical? Let me know in the comments. And if you like these videos, check out another one, linked on screen.